Today, I, I'm working on installing these hydro system tops. I will put up which model I'm putting in. It's a really nice looking tub. It's a little bit different than a Kohler or an American Standard tub because it's, there's a, the first thing I want to tell you about this, these tubs when you install them is there's about one and one eighth of an inch from this lip here. I don't know if you can see it. This lip, yeah, this lip right here to where the actual bottom of the tub is. The bottom of this tub is raised up a little bit. I think that's because these tubs also come in like jacuzzi type, type system. So it's a little bit off the ground. So I put this tub in and I never put one in before. So I had to buy two bags of unmodified water and I had to really build up this tub. I also, you also have to put in a piece of two by four on the back. I'm gonna show this all to you when I install the other tub in this bathroom. Um, the other thing about this tub that is not pretty, it's a little bit unusual, it chips really easily. I've never installed a tub that has such a easy chipping aspect to it. And I will show you what I'm talking about. So we have a chip right here. And then we have a chip in the corner. Now, yeah, they're fine. They're not gonna, it's not gonna do anything to damage the tub because it's covered, but the tub is very temperamental. So I also, this was a tough install just because of the way this wall was built. Like I said, it's a little, it's a little temperamental. It's not like a Kohler, like my Kohler archers I put in, I really like them. They never, I've never had one chip ever. So it's a little bit new to me. I wasn't crazy about that, but it is, it's a very nice looking tub. So that's a big plus. And the other weird thing is the drain. So the drain is built in. There is no overflow. It's just built in to the actual tub. And the drain is like kind of funky and I will, I'll get into that a little bit more. So that is the initial conversation about the tub. Now I'm gonna get into the visuals of exactly everything I talked about. Well, welcome to the other bathroom. I'm installing the tub in. Now the first thing is, is this drain. It is, it comes with a PVC insert. And then you could see, I don't know if you could see in there. Do you see in there? That is the overflow that runs through. So that's the guts of this tub. There's no overflow pipe. That's it's a traditional setup. Now, one really odd observation I have, it says, please water test bathtub before installation. Failure to do so can void your warranty. Now, how do you test a tub before you install it and hook it up to the drain? I have no idea. I think it was like the silliest thing I've ever read. I think it's worded incorrectly, but I don't know if you could see that. Kind of weird. Don't know what's up with that, but that's fine. So this is going to be a better install because I'm prepared for this one now. And I thought about it. So what I'm going to do is I have a piece of three quarter plywood. I'm going to plop it down right here to build up the base because what I was talking about was you see right here, this is the bottom of the tub. And then you have this lip. Now look at the lip. It gets even bigger as you go further back. It's kind of like the towel ready tub. So I have to build this up three quarters of an inch or I have to use two bags of mortar again, which is a pain in the neck to be honest. That's a lot of mortar to put under a tub. So that is my plan. I'm gonna get working on this. So enjoy the time lapse and I'll take some video as I go, but there's the plywood, here's the valve and then I could get to the plumbing really easily since I have the ceiling open downstairs and lastly what I want to mention before I get going with this is the the apron on here it's huge so it is not an easy if you don't this is an easy install because I have I could just slide it right in I can actually do it myself but in an actual alcove that just has walls like in the other bathroom it, the tub is so big, you really need a lot of room 
this way to get the tub slanted in. And that's why that tub chipped. It's over there. So keep that into keep that in mind. So I'm gonna I think that that's about it. I can't think of anything else um, that I want to talk to about the tub, but so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start installing it. As you see, I need more water, so I need two bags. Even with the three-quarter plywood, I don't probably need a full bag, but I definitely need two bags of water. I mean, that, this is not the best design at all. So let me go grab the second bag of water. Just tested the waistline. She is nice and dry. And that's, that, that's all she wrote for this tub. This is a very weird, to me, it's very weird, this, this, uh, the way this is set up. So, like I said, it was nice I had access here because we ripped out the closet and a couple of things. But, I mean, it's just a little, you know, it was just 145 and that's it. It's basically, didn't really move any plumbing at all, but this is all, it's all done. This is how this tub is installed. I hope you enjoyed this, this episode and thanks for watching and I hope you learned how to install the tub. Take care.